Redemption story for Gulf Shores Bar. As WKRG News 5's Whitney Leibold reports, a bar nearly shut down by the city is introducing new measures to stop violence and underage drinking. Mudbugs has a troubling past. Shootings, fights, and underage drinking, all reported in the last two years. It became such a big problem, the city of Gulf Shores threatened to shut the business down last month. A strong warning led to some major changes. Bar owner and manager Trey Harris says he's stepping up security. Because the parking lot was one of our biggest, like one of the biggest concerns of the city. So what we do now, we keep our security out here. They walk the parking lot from here. There's um, behind the where the Pizza Hut uh, property is. They walk that as well. They make sure that they you know just sitting in the cars idling. They walk girls to their cars, and, and you know we we're more of the assisting now than just like you know sending them out. Another issue the bar was struggling with was underage drinkers. The bar recently just bought a device, and with spring breakers in town, they're putting it to good use. We have a scanner and it's very good. It checks fake IDs, underage, if somebody passed their ID back. It's probably one of the top scanners that you use in the bar. So we're catching more fake IDs. An average of right now during spring break, so you get way more, 25 to 30, even more sometimes depending on the weekend. And lastly, if you drive past mud bugs, you can see their sign lighting up with their new closing time. The city was concerned that mud bugs was staying open until 3 a.m., way past the city ordinance time of 2. Harris says the main incidents happen between 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. That's called at 1 o'clock, and we close the bar at 1.30. And make sure that like almost everybody's cleared the property by 1.30, and that's what our security do. They assist. If somebody's waiting for Uber, Lyft, we wait for them out here until they're done. And by 1.30, we've, we've been like completely a clear parking lot. The city of Gulf Shores and Gulf Shores Police Department have not commented on Mudbug's changes. Reporting in Gulf Shores, Whitney Leibold, WKRG News 5.